Hey family, welcome back to another video. It's your girl St. Valentine over here we do everything in the name of Akashic Alchemy. <laughs> I'm sure you can see that a lot of things have changed since, but a girl is now no one. So no need for you to see my face, but you see my robes. You can identify me by my robes and my voice. Um, That way, no matter what disguise I have on, you know it's me. You know it's me. So let's get the fire reading out the way. I didn't really intend on making these elemental readings, but that's just kind of how it happened, and I followed through with it. Two of wands. I, it kind of just happened, and I followed through with it, and I saw how it made sense. With the three of wands out of a, in a whole different deck. This is three decks put together. Um. Yeah, so let's see what comes out for fire. It's for Leo, Sage, Aries. And currently, I'm eating, like, watery fruits with salt. So, I'm eating grapes. Some purple grapes. Or red grapes, I guess you could say. With cucumbers. The fool. With salt. I never ate that before, but I was just following my intuition. You get what I'm saying? Lately, I've been learning how to harness the fire energy without having to actually... Without having to actually... Use fire energy in order to preserve myself, right? Because fire takes a lot, a lot of energy. So fire, maybe I think it's time that. Oh my gosh, it's time that you find, I guess, more discerning ways, like watching yourself and how you give your energy, where you give your energy, like. Even down to, like, how you absorb, right? Because my Mars is in Gemini, natally. Well, grass, my Mars is in Cancer. Which means going from, like, very, like, objective and observant uh, energy as far as giving, right? My Venus is still in Gemini, so I still receive in a very Empress type of way. But now instead of giving in a very point King of Swords type of way, I have to utilize my North Node in order to give in a very uh, King of Cups type of way, right? And that's utilizing, by utilizing fire energy, having to give King of Cups using fire, right? That takes a lot of alchemy, so let's see. Let's see what comes out. Let's see what Spirit has to say about that for real. And one way I've been doing that is not actually using fire to smoke. So, like, using a pen. Which utilizes a different type of current or conduit or medium to achieve the same type of fire energy. But with less... <laughs> okay, four of cups. What the fuck is this? Because, you know, we like to tell stories over here. Or if you, if for anybody who actually knows who I am, like, you know, I like to tell stories. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, the Fool, Queen of Swords, the Four of Cups. This is somebody realizing that they've been, they've been rejected because somebody is choosing a new direction. Choosing a whole new direction. Because look, she got the cup locked up. And that's what whoever is in the Square Cups is looking for. They got all of these cups around them, but they know it ain't the right cup. So it's like before they even get to the Five of Cups, they're already in the Five of Cups. Because they realize once they got to the Four of Cups that this ain't it. They thought they was they, they was getting a little too heavy with the Three of Cups. But they realize this ain't it. This might be you. This might be you just going in a new direction. Because you know you can forge the path forward. You know that no matter what, the torch that you're holding is lit. And there's no way for anybody to put it out. And even if they do, you can make fire from your, you know, from your hands. But you also know how to make fire in nature. You don't need a, a source. You are a source, right? A source, sun, energy, right? You understand your source. Therefore, you know how to alchemize using your own energy. That's really what this is. Folks looking for your energy and realizing that it's not available. Point of source again, yeah, realizing that it's not available. It 
and just as gracefully as they wandered on over to your energy to try to figure out or find it is as gracefully as they about to have to just go right back to where they came from look at this king of wands ten of cups three of, three of wands again the three of wands is out here twice what's behind that the, hey yo look at this this is knowing which direction you're going in now and knowing why you're now being guided to go in that direction. This is like literally having the, like this is having the instructions and just simply not knowing how to follow them. And like needing to stop the fire, clear out the fog so that you can see clearly. But still understanding that, like, knowing that the, the fire energy is going to be used, it always is. It's necessary for the alchemy that you're doing. But if you want to preserve this, right, if you want to alchemize this without adding too much, right, like pollution to the air or pollution to your air or dirty air in your energy, you learn how to use other sources or use yourself in the many sources within you to accomplish this which means that where others would like be co-creators you're learning how to co-create with yourself this is crazy or like even create different versions of yourself that can be manifested as external things people or places or less people but more so places concepts and ideas that can be used to continue alchemizing your independent energy Four of swords. I mean, sorry. Six of swords. Because you're taking yourself to common waters. You're utilizing... It's like that you turn that water... Yo, this is like... Instead of boiling the water to evaporate it, it's like you allow the water to attract more water. And then you let that water flood up and fill up. It's like Alice in Wonderland when she was like stuck in the little hallway with the doors... And she had ate the cookie and she got like big as hell. So basically she had to cry her way out. It's like that. But instead of you crying, you allow... It's like, like baiting other people who are like trying to get this energy out of you. They stick around so long that it, the, the feelings become contagious. The energy becomes contagious. And they end up crying a fucking river. But you already got a boat and you rolling the fuck about that motherfucker. <laughs> you, your ideas, your creations and all of that. All at once. And protecting yourself on all fronts. We got two two of swords out here. We got the king of wands out here. We got the queen of wands out here. And we got the three of wands out here twice with the two of wands. Child, this is this is like the veil. If you want to think of your your this your fire energy as a kingdom right now, think of the veil and how protected that shit is. There's no way to get in or out this motherfucker without people seeing or knowing what the fuck you trying to do. The tower. It's almost like for the, this is like fortifying something. This is more like metal. I think this is less like this is like fire, but it's like metal. It's like bending metal. You're using fire to bend metal. You're finding oh, that's what it is. You're finding purpose in the fire because it felt like water because like right mercury is a is a liquid metal, and it takes true direction in order to like kind of create the path that the mercury will go down so this is like using that fire to like create like a canal for all of this energy that you're attracting how to like literally filtering it into a larger thing that can allow you like that not only builds a reservoir but also allows you to come and go as you please Knight of Swords to come and go as you please. And even if people try to go behind you, they'll never be able to see you. They might be able to see the chariot, but they won't see you because you're not on the chariot. That's the G that's the psyops. You're the bird in the sky, flying the fuck away, baby. <laughs> come and go as you please. Literally though. Literally, this is transfiguration energy. This is more, this is deeper than just transmuting. This is transfiguring. You're literally like, you've learned 
how to connect to animal energies. Bro, I'm telling you, you've mastered your... Like, not mastered the human condition, but you know a lot more than most people. The sun with the ace of cups. Because you've learned to master your emotions. Even as a... Like, even... You learn to master it utilizing your fire energy. You learn to temper it, right? What temperature is perfect for you, depending on what you're trying to alchemize. And you realize that your power has become really strong. So it's like, even when you're not trying to, the fire energy enhances, it grows. So you have to find new tools and materials to work with in order to... um. Not, I want to say to not start a fire, but also to, you know, keep it purposeful. And what's the best thing to do with hot as fire? Bend the metal. Because that way you can build with it, rather than destroying things with it. Some people, like I said, they'll try to follow you, but you got to learn how to bend metal first, which means you first got to learn how to master your fire. These are two, oh my goodness, this is literally where we left off from my other channel, if you're subscribed to that channel. Like, the engine has already started. I can't hear you. That's my rude ass neighbor. He is so nasty to everybody. He don't act like that with me. He do not act like that with me. He's always very nice to me. And for whatever reason that is, he know not to play with me like other people because he know I, he knows shit to get real. Or whether he know that or not, he not trying to test it because he see I'm doing I'm minding my business. It take you it takes real concentration to bend metal. Some people will just see you. Doing something like some people would just see you playing with fire because they do not know how to identify what a metal is. It's like an element that they haven't under they don't understand yet. This is fire with the with I mean well this is like this is this is metal. This is the metal element. This isn't even fire. This is metal. We're not even gonna concentrate on the more, you know basic elements because metal and wood are a basic element this is metal because this is mercury it's cups and fire it's water and fire together that's metal baby that's metal that's crystallized like memory that's crystallized earth see earth is out here too when you put these together, you usually get some type of, like, fossil. Metals are, like, a quick-fix fossil. This is a conductor. This is copper. That's a metal. So this is metal, but this is copper. You're learning how to conduct the energy using your energy. And you're doing so effortlessly. And you're making it look just as easy to where you really don't need assistance but other people will try to do what you're doing and they will only reach a certain point it'll never look divine it'll just look man-made <laughs> or it'll look like they had help but whatever you're doing looks like magic baby Mercury is such a mercury and copper are such important metals. People underestimate them severely because they don't know the true value of them. But metal is important, and I think that's why I was guided to do like the the not the five elements, but like all the I guess yeah the five elements because but no six because wood, which will make seven ether. So the seven elements. But let's get some more. Let's see. Ah! 
Okay, the Ace of Pentacles came out again with the Seven of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Hangman. And then the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. This is somebody else being tied up in their own shit. And very much like the other signs, realizing that you got away. But the thing about the metal centered energies. It's giving, like, it's really giving Jigsaw, like, you want to play a game. This is literally leading somebody into a trap. This is somebody thinking that you're playing with fire, so they think they could play with you to make you burn yourself. Not realizing that you have on protective ass gloves, a mask, shields for your eyes and your skin. You have on protective clothing and everything like that. Your entire aura is made for what you're doing at the moment. So the longer they stay, the longer they become the thing that ends up being inside this fucking cage. Not because you built it around them, but because they wanted it so bad to walk in it once you were done. But you're moving on to do something completely different. You will learn how to successfully like create keys that lock and unlock doors. And you're leaving them the recipe. And it's like, okay, can you um can you replicate it? Like that's the only way you can do so from inside. Like you're giving them the alchemic rec recipe. And it's like, okay, if you can you can do this from inside that cage, right? As long as you focus. You knew what you was doing and you knew what you was doing to me while you while you watched me or tried to stop me from doing what I was doing. So now it's time for you to do it, but I'm helping you. I already gave you the instructions. And here's a walkie-talkie, too, if you really need to get in contact with me. I ain't going to always answer, but find out how to figure out how to. Oh, my God. Where does she go? Hold on, because this is mad funny. Oh my goodness, I know it was out here. I must have put it back, but with the night of, uh, oh, here we go. Find out how to send, send a raven. <laughs> and I might get the message a little quicker. You can use the walkie-talkie, but I usually don't got my walkie-talkie on because of the simple fact that, you know, I be, be trying to preserve the energy. So I'll say try to get through, but if you don't send a raven, because I'm going to get the raven. This is like the equivalent of telling people, um, I'm changing my number, I'm changing my address, I'm changing all my contact information. Don't try to reach me, but if you really need me, write a letter. Here's my P.O. box. Write a letter. Write me a letter. I'll read it and I'll absolutely write back. But there's, but if you get in your transportation trying to come see me, you're never going to find me. If you use your power trying to get to me, you're going to waste all your moves and your men because where the fuck do you think you're going? Knight of Pentacles, it's better to just take the long way. Send shit, send an email or write a letter. It's really simple. Send an email or write a fucking letter, brother. Yo, this is literally, you're becoming the architect of your life. Not just the creator of your world, but the architect of your life. Think about just how many more, like, elements. When you think of life, right? When you think of the creator of your life, you think about the creation elements, right? The primary elements. But then, when you go a little bit deeper and you start doing architecture and stuff like that, you think about the, all the things you can build with. Because you're, you're going to have a hard time building with water. You're going to have a hard time building with fire, depending on what you're building. Because, I mean, it'll get to a certain point that whatever you're building, the fire is going to burn that shit down. So hopefully the only thing you're forging is a key or a door or a lock. <laughs> or a sword to protect the building. Now you can build with earth. There's different types of earth. Right? You can also build with magic. You're using the earth. 
and the magic. Time is magic. So utilizing earth and natural materials, natural energy, alchemizing your own energy, turning your own, you know, copper conductive energy into gold energy that you can now exchange. You did? I'm gonna tell your mom I seen y'all. <laughs> I was like, all right. You're losing it. I think so. He's like, don't think I'm crazy. I was like, I know. He's losing it. He said she comes to him in his room. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Oh, don't knock it over. No, don't knock it over. Yeah, this is turning iron into, I mean, this is turning copper into gold. That's metal. That's metal. That's metal bending. That's metal alchemy. That's what you're doing. That's why it looks retarded to other people. Because you really can't use too many of the other, like, you do have to use all the elements, but in a real interesting way. Oh, what the? They've been at odds all day, all morning. It also takes a long ass time to learn how to do that. Uh-oh. She might be. Cause she's sure enough following her around. His mama. Yeah, she is. But she can't help herself. And she mad feisty. I know. And that's where you are. It's time for you, your body is trying to, your energy, your aura is trying to create something and you can't stop yourself from doing so. And other people can feel all that magic on you. And they're chasing you around. She's not going to let him get towards her. She's been fighting him off all la since last night. This is about to be really this year. I don't give a fuck. We're going to use this for like... I okay, I'll say this next... These next few months, this summer. It's going to be big for you. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be humongous for you. And a lot of people are gonna be looking like that because they're gonna see you doing this. So if you went from it finally being this and then finally in a way where they can finally understand what the fuck you were doing, and now you're doing it like this even more effortlessly with more transparency, more fluently, brother, they're going to start losing it. They're gonna start losing it. And then all they'll see is water. And if that doesn't make sense to you, what type of torture that is, going from trying to water bend to being stuck in learning that, like trying to transfigure things and being forced back into bitch transmute, transmutation 98, bitch, not even 101, 98, because you really tried it. If you have, a, if you understand the water energy in your chart, then you might be aware. But if not, go watch the water reading. Go watch the water reading. LOL. Anybody who tried this and failed is literally SOSing right now. Bad. If you were able to master this type of metal alchemy, you're probably a lot more successful than people expected you to be. And that's all spirit, period. I